what is it that you love about art? Why did you suddenly um, think this is a thing for me? Because I didn't have to do writing or anything. Right. <laughs> so you enjoy pictures yeah. and drawing? Because um, my brain turns everything into images anyway. Okay, so that's so, how you learn? Yeah. So it was just easier for me to get up with a pencil or mixed media and like, throw it all together because there's no rules in art. So you can't get one. Now, last time I came to the, uh, the Brookside Community Centre, you were on your hands and knees was, yeah. and you were painting ready for Halloween, yeah. wasn't it? On the windows. Yeah, I was doing a haunted house. <laughs> right. And decorating the community centre and being involved in things that are happening like Christmas and Halloween yeah. and fireworks night, is that something you enjoy doing as well? I do, because the kids are like, oh, how come this has to do on the window? And I'm like, I'm the artist in residence. Oh, yes. <laughs> and, and they're like, oh. Cool. And does it, do you enjoy going in to do your artwork in the community centre? I do. I really enjoy it. Also, it helps get my name out there because I want to start my own business. Okay. Selling my artwork. So, um, by um, drawing on the windows and that, it helps me have a platform for people to go, oh, that's easy. Yeah. And you can practice and experiment yeah. and try ideas. Yeah, because um, when I was drawing the house, I was using chalk pens. Right. Which I've never used before, so that was good. <laughs> and do we like chalk pens? Are we I going do. to see them again? Brilliant. Well done on your award tonight, Izzy. Thank you. Not only are you <laughs> received an award for your art, yeah. but also for being inspirational to other people in the community. Yeah. How does that feel? It feels good. Because I know that, because um, the children at the community centre, I know that I inspire them quite a lot, which means like I'm impacting the future of the planet at the same time. <laughs> and it's great, isn't it, when somebody you kind of reach out to people that are in a situation it's not that long since you were in that situation yeah. <laughs> and two awards for the mantelpiece now one for each end <laughs> yeah. they look fabulous won't they i'm really excited to put them on my mantelpiece and if somebody came up to you and said they were dyslexic what would you say to them um, that it doesn't matter they are dyslexic and you can do things that, that you want to do if you just put your mind to it like anyone else and you're a shining example of somebody that can be an award winner and yeah. an example to other people in the community, so well done. Yeah.